welcome to the inauguration of the rajkumari indira devi hall which is part of uh, golden threshold uh, cultural complex uh, so i first like to welcome our uh, dignitaries to the dais starting with uh, dr kv ramanachari advisor to the telangana government who is the chief guest for the evening and uh, rajkumari indira devi dhanrajgir uh, may i request you to come to the dais and our uh, vice chancellor professor aparavaru So welcome again uh, we are uh, going to start the evening with a short uh, musical uh, you might call it musical invocation musical rendition uh, we have requested uh, uh, jayvant naidu who is uh, known uh, to many people in the city uh, who plays uh, hawaiian guitar one of the few people we know who does uh, classical music on uh, hawaiian guitar uh, just a brief introduction to jayvant naidu and uh, the accompanist uh, savan kakeri on tabla uh, jayvant uh, started learning hawaiian guitar at the young age of 8 years from shri asan mukherjee he took further training from shri dinesh kumar sampath of mumbai jayvant completed his sangeet visharad from akhil bharatiya gandharv mahavidyalay uh, his uh, music has appeared uh, and has been broadcast in various uh, radio stations both in india and abroad he is one of the first musicians in india to perform north indian classical music hindustani music on the hawaiian guitar uh, not only in india but also abroad uh, jayvant has also modified the hawaiian guitar in his own unique uh, way to call it uh, jayvant guitar Uh, which is his own innovation uh, so we have requested him to set the atmosphere for today's evening and he has uh, kindly uh, consented to do that so over to jayvan
cover mine eyes, O oh my love, mine eyes that are weary of bliss, as of light that is poignant and strong, O oh silence my lips with a kiss. Shelter my soul, O oh my love, my soul is bent low with the pain and the burden of love, like the grace of a flower that is smitten with rain, O oh shelter my soul from thy face. लहरों से डर कर नौका पार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती नन्ही चीठी जब दाना देकर चलती है चढ़ती दीवारों पर सौ बार फिसलती है मन का विश्वास रगों में साहस भरता है चढ़कर गिरना गिरकर चढ़ना ना अखरता है आखिर उसकी मेहनत बेकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती डुबकियाँ सिंधु में गोताखोर लगाता है जा जाकर खाली हाथ लौट कर आता है मिलते नहीं सहज ही मोती गहरे पानी में बढ़ता दुगना उत्साह इसी हैरानी में मुट्ठी उसकी खाली हर बार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती असफलता एक चुनौती है स्वीकार करो क्या कमी रह गई देखो और सुधार करो जब तक न सफल हो नींद चैन को त्यागो तुम संघर्ष का मैदान छोड़ मत भागो तुम कुछ किए बिना ही जय जयकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती
good evening one and all at the outset i would like to thank our chief guest dr kv ramana chari garu a, a person who is well known in our place doesn't require any introduction and particularly for this kind of a gathering and also our guest of honor rajkumari indra devi ji several invited guests faculty members and ladies and gentlemen i extend a warm welcome to all of you to our this campus what we call as golden threshold university of hyderabad actually started at this building we all have fond memories of starting our university at this very building and several of us actually talk about uh, talk with nostalgia when we start talking about how the university has begun at this place and this has become possible with the kind donation of padmanjan naidu the, their property for this university and a place where all of us know sarojin naidu has lived and then we know the name that she has made for herself for this region and for the country and when she has her daughter donated this for this to this university now many of you sitting in this room know what university of hyderabad is today in its 45 years of existence university of hyderabad has become an envious destination several institutions which have start which have been started during that period are still struggling to make a name for themselves while university of hyderabad has become already an institution of eminence it is all the kind heart with which she has donated their family has donated this very special premises for the starting of this university i think that has paved the way for the development of this university to the institution of eminence today when everything was happening there was there was a time everything was happening here after some time few things were happening and after some more time uh, some some activities we are continuing and some act most of the activities we have shifted to our main campus at gachibali and a university when it has grown to this level we always remembered as i said in the beginning we always remember and every one of us gt we call it in short golden threshold we always remembered this place and we wanted to see that this place continues to be the place where lot of activity is there and the presence of a university like university of hyderabad which has grown to this level should also help not only the students who are admitting who, who are admitted to different courses in the university but also to the region and the place a place which has been not which has been a a a place of lot of activity when i interacted with indira ji i know i am new to this place that way but indira ji had a, her own association with saroj naidu's family and therefore she also knew what was the kind of activity that was here including great leaders like mahatma gandhi by were visiting this place and it was full of activity here 
and today we are happy after several years indira ji has come forward to put an endowment to revive that kind of an activity on this campus when she has put that donation that endowment with the university university was going we 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 feel sorry that we took little longer than what it should have then we should have completed it a bit earlier but now somehow the project got slightly delayed we we have taken it up about a one and a half years back with uh, with more seriousness and i would like to first of all thank indira ji for thinking of uh, putting a donation an endowment for to revive the cultural uh, activities on this campus and that's where it is appropriate for us to call it as rajkumari indra devi ji hall and thank you very much madam for this kind of endowment and for encouraging university of hyderabad to revive the activities on golden threshold at golden threshold i also need to thank particularly two of my colleagues professor vinod and dr janardan these two have taken it to their heart and particularly vinod has worked here for several years he was a student of this place he studied in this campus and he also taught here therefore he has i can see he has more and more affection for this campus and he has put in his best efforts very well supported by dr janardan and both of them i would like to thank on this occasion for making a dream come true today for us to have this hall which is which is available from today for all cultural and literary events this is what we would like to announce and some of you may be aware and of course many of you know because you are all uh, interested in cultural activities and uh, literary uh, prog and activities therefore you know about our school of performing arts we call it now school of performing arts and communication this school university of hyderabad has named it after saroj naidu so we call it as saroj naidu school of arts and communication the school has a department of dance department of theater theater arts department of fine arts and a department of communication and very recently we start we have started working and in fact we have already set up a new department what we call as department of music and that department with that department we thought we are able to add the the required components to this arts and that is how and every time as a vice chancellor when i go to different places i take pride to tell many people that many people know outside as as a university which is in science kind i tell them you they may be right from one angle but university of hyderabad is known for its arts uh, and communication its social, social sciences economics humanities and in all these areas we have done equally well and a, a university which is multidisciplinary which has been able to do equally well in several different disciplines is the most appropriate institution for a philanthropist like indira ji to put endowments and she has rightly put it put her endowments and which has given an opportunity for us to have regular on a regular basis lectures in different uh, languages in school of humanities 
and now this place will be available not only in the campus but it is available for the entire city the people who love these cultural activities and the literary activities and probably we will be able to uh, allow um, facilitate some screening of films and some important other things as well in this campus as we move forward we have made we have big plans and uh, the plans would be like another um, a little larger hall we are going to renovate and make it available soon maybe uh, if everything goes well in about 6 to 7 months we should be able to get it ready and we are working very closely with intac this is another proposal which has got delayed because it required some specialized funding and uh, we wanted to do the best possible way and therefore we were waiting for a good opportunity to um, protect this heritage building not only simply protect the building i was sharing with our honorable advisor that we want to make this place buzzing with cultural literary activities and also a place of tourism people should be able to see this as the tourists who come to hyderabad should also see this heritage building and the activities that happen at this building this is some this is our desire and therefore we are working towards this and thanks to the recent support that we have got from the government of india ministry of human resource development under institution of eminence we will be able to we are making our plans into uh, in, into a proper uh, shape we are putting them in a proper shape to execute them one by one and see to it that everybody in our region will feel uh, proud that university of, uh, that sarojini naidu or sarojini naidu's family has donated this building to university of hyderabad and university of hyderabad has properly used it so far and also gave, made, made a good name for this donation and made it actually utilized it to the maximum and the people of this region will feel happy that so many things will happen in this building very soon with this i don't want to take too long i would like to also request Uh, there was uh, to be a little formal welcome which uh, sort of the vice chancellor jump started a bit uh, and of course that's adequately welcomed all of you and uh, shared the plans for golden threshold with you all but uh, may i now request uh, uh, vice chancellor to present a bouquet to indira ji as a sign of a formal welcome uh, and i'll and i'll request uh, the director of distance education dr jilani to present a bouquet to dr ramana chari garu and uh, and uh, my colleague uh, dr janardhan will present a bouquet to our uh, vice chancellor professor aparu thank you uh no i don't have uh, much more to add to the welcome i think the vice chancellor has uh, shared the big plans that we have for golden threshold it is true that many of us are uh, you know have a emotional link to this place having uh, studied and taught in this premises for some years and i'm happy actually to see some alumni who got very excited to see the event being announced on facebook and uh, and many of them studied here and some of them are here so welcome to all the alumni and other 
friends of uh, GTI, I should say, who are here. Uh, I think the, uh, the the idea for Golden Threshold that the Vice Chancellor has shared, I mean, you might see this hall as a small but significant step towards restoring Golden Threshold to a literary and cultural hub for the city. Yeah, so I, I see a lot of faces in the room who are from different walks of literary and cultural life of this city and I hope moving forward all of you will support this endeavor, uh, come up with ideas about how to use not only this hall, of course this hall is now open for all kinds of events, uh, literary and cultural, but uh, there will be an auditorium at the back that will seat about 150 to 200 people. When the house, which is the heritage structure, is fully restored with the support of Intac, we are hoping that we will have an art gallery, especially for young and upcoming artists to display their work. Uh, as some of you know, a lot of the art and culture uh, venues in the city have all moved to Banjara Hills and Jubilee Hills. There is hardly anything apart from uh, Ravindra Bharti in the heart of the city. Yeah, so we are hoping that we, we will add to whatever exists today in, in this part of uh, the city and hopefully it will also have a small museum dedicated to the life of uh, Sarojini Naidu. There are also small outdoor spaces in this complex which also we would throw it open. I mean on uh, nice winter evenings you could have outdoor events, film screenings, poetry readings, uh, book launches and so on. So we want this space to buzz with activity on a daily basis and not just for universities activities but we would throw it open to literary and cultural groups in the city. So welcome to all of you and I'll request uh, Professor Aparogaru to proceed further with the rest of the program. Thank you. Thank you Vinod. Actually uh, it was the right word, that there was a jump start. I, well, I, I, he was, uh, uh, I always wanted to be thanking Vinod for all that what he has done. That is the, that's where I have uh, started off all that. And as I said, it is not time for us to talk more. We would like to actually listen to two of our uh, guests. First, we would like to request our uh, the donor and our guest of honor, Indraji, for her remarks. And uh, she has, I have interacted in the last three years, uh, I have interacted with her in the last three years and I have uh, known at least some part of her interests. I don't think I, I have known her completely, but I have known at least some part of her interests. Every time she comes with very, very special interest whenever there is a lecture, be it in Hindi, be it in Urdu or is it in, even it in Telugu. In all these uh, places where she has put the endowment, she is passionate about these languages and the literary, literature and literary activities because of her association, long association with Seshendraji, Guntur Seshendra Sarmagaru. And uh, I am a person who has come from the, sa the same town. I have uh, uh, from Guntur. And we know how the cultural activities happen in small town like Guntur on a regular basis. As a, ch as a child I have seen, as a student I have seen in those places. And it's, uh, it's a kind gesture on her part that she thought of putting this endowment to revive those activities in the center of the city, which will, as Vinod rightly mentioned, in this part, it becomes an additional resource for those lovers of the literary and cultural activities. With this, I would like to request Indraji to share her thoughts on this occasion. Let me begin by saying that the University of Hyderabad, the dynamic vice chancellor, Professor Aparav Garu, who has taken such interest in building up this institution. 
when I gave this endowment, it was for one reason, the people of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, the average people do not have a place. They cannot go to the Ravindra Bharti. They cannot afford Ravindra Bharti. And they had to have some place where they could have small meetings of 50 people, 20 people, 20 students, some music, some dance or whatever. So this was one idea. And I'm happy that it's been put to some use. For me, it's like putting me, giving me a day in the sun. Because this is sun, where they have dedicated the hall to me. Thank you. I, now it is up to the university to use it as best as they can. I have many interests. I have literature, painting, music. And to see your faces light up, I think all our people here were depressed, going away into their own homes. We never came out and met each other, which was very necessary. And people ask me, how do you keep so young? Well, I'm not really. So I say, well, because I do a lot of work, not mental, I mean mental work. I sit before the uh, computer, I talk to people, I have friends, I speak on, you know, I have a dialogue. So dialogue is very important. Keep thinking and you will always be young. Another thing is today I see so many people before me whom I had not met for a long time. And I'm very happy to meet Ramanachari Karu after 50 years. I entered Telugu literature and that's when I met him. Then my journey into Telugu literature has been very deep, very honorable, and very memorable. I met the... What's happening now? This, okay. Hello. I'm sorry. I have to change. Now, my journey into Telugu literature has been very, very... That's not me. <laughs> it's been very, very... Very... I cannot explain. It's not just romantic. I met the great literary figures of Telugu, whom I can never forget. It was something I had known Urdu, I had known Marathi, I had known Hindi, and Telugu was a great addition to my knowledge, to my experience, and, and the simplicity they had. They were the simplest people I've ever seen. A writer is very simple. People think he's very knowledgeable, he won't talk to you, but he will. He will talk to you. He will lead you. He will read to you. One thing in my childhood, my father used to sit in a garden. And now we had to go and see him in the garden. There were only two chairs. He said, Idhar se kato, udhar se kato. It was all cutting trees. And we'd be there, and he'd pick up a book. He'd be reading Ghalib, he'd be reading Jalil, he'd be reading uh, Jalili, all these people. And we had to listen. He'd say, Suno. And then in the evenings, Shankara Bai used to be here. And she used to sing. So we had to hear all these songs again. Slowly we got interested in literature, we got interested in poetry, we got interested in music. That was the way of life. That is Hyderabad. And Hyderabad, you cannot explain. Hyderabad is diverse. Hyderabad is loving. Here are lots of people who just came because they heard my name. They knew there'd be a smile for them. There'd be a loving adab or something. And there are Telugu people. Here is someone I knew long ago. Where are you? <laughs> Raghu. Raghu, where are you? Now you see, there are so many people I know. And I can recognize them. Fifty years have not made any difference. They're all there in my mind. And every time I look at my, my telephone directory, I find these names. And I wonder whether they've all disappeared because of the new phones, iPhones. <laughs> well, do you have the same telephone number? Huh? Okay, ring up. 
So I'm so happy you came. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad this hall will be useful. Whatever. I hope you like it. I hope it will be useful more. You know what happened to normal writers in Andhra Pradesh? The common writer, the common poet who cannot afford very much, he cannot go to Ravindra Bharti. And Ravindra Bharti is not given anymore to the Andhra people. I have a grouse against you. <laughs> now why? There are two states of Telugu. They should have equal possibilities. I was married to an Andhra man, but it didn't make any difference. Hyderabad never just threw him away. But today I'm sad that there is an Andhra and there's a Telangana. Sometimes they ask me, am I Andhra or am I Telangana? I said, I don't know, I'm Hyderabadi. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to this new hall. And let me say, there's a, there's a couplet of, of Ghalib. Hum kaha ke dana the, kis hunar mein ekta the, be sabab hua Ghalib, dushman asma apna. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you, and I'd love to hear our very distinguished person, Ramana Jari Garu, and I don't want to stand between you and him. Thank you again, and Khuda Hafiz, Adab, Namaskar. Thank you, Madam, for sharing your thoughts and sharing uh, uh, your moments and how you got attracted and how you got interested into this literature and maybe poetry and other music and other cultural activities. The government of Telangana has an eminent advisor in the name of Dr. K. V. Ramana Charigaru. Madam may have expressed in her elderly uh, terms whether I belong to Andhra, Telangana, Hyder but I am a Hyderabadi. That's wonderful, the way she has put it. What I would like to mention here is, here is a man who has helped in the newly formed state to again revive and enhance the literary and cultural activities in the state of Telangana. He is known for it. He has been very well recognized for all the contribution that he has made in the last five, five and a half years after he has been in this particular, when he, the government has entrusted him with, with such kind of responsibility. Therefore, we thought it is, when we are thinking in a small way to revive our golden threshold for these activities, we thought he would be the best man for us to be the chief guest. And it was nice on his part that he did not take time to say yes to be part of this evening and to be the chief guest and to share his thoughts with us. Therefore, now I request our chief guest, Dr. Ramana Charigaru to share, to give his message. Professor Aparogaru, Madam Rajkumari Indiraji, and uh, my friends. It's a matter of delight for me to inaugurate this hall today along with uh, Rajkumari and Professor Apparav Pudili and all of you. As a matter of fact, when I was a student of Usmania University, I've been hearing a lot about this golden threshold. And in 1960s and in 1970s, and once this became Hyderabad Central University, I became so much excited at that point of time. And today, Vice Chancellor has made a mention of the fact that 
Hyderabad University has become an institution of eminence. It is because of all the efforts of the Vice Chancellors in succession. But I take this opportunity to make a mention here that the intention of Padmajan Ayuduji, the pious and very fair intention, Sankalpa, has been responsible for making this university an institution of eminence. Great people, they have done a lot of service to the country, to the society. They have donated this historical heritage building. And today, again, Rajkumari Indra Dhanraj Giriji, she has donated some amount. And today in her name, this hall has been inaugurated. And this name would be there for years together and for the, all the future. Thanks a lot, madam. You have taken a lot of uh, generous gesture for having done something for this university. As uh, Madam has made a mention of the fact that Ravindra Bharti is not accessible to all, I agree. Because in Hyderabad, it's only one auditorium which has been onto some standards. Though there is Shilpa Ramam on one side, there is um, uh, Harihara Kalabhavan in Sikindabad side. Unfortunately, the people are not that interested to go to those areas except the cinema people. Several cultural organizations and literary organizations, they are very much interested to have the auditoria with some 50 to 100 or 100 to 150 audience so that they can have their books released, their workshops, their seminars conducted. Even Central uh, Sahih Academy, they have also felt the difficulty in conducting their programs in uh, conference hall of Ravindra Bharati. Now that Hyderabad Central University has taken a very good deal, step to develop this golden threshold into a very literary and cultural center in the years to come. I expect that several literary programs, several culture programs, several plays are staged here along with the art galleries uh, utilization also. Madam Anuradhaji here, she has been representing INTAC. So along with INTAC, if uh, Hyderabad University takes a few more steps, Certainly, this will become a big tourist spot also in the years to come. All my help, all my support, not only my, the government of Telangana support also will be there with the Hyderabad Central University. And uh, we will wish, and I am one person to wish this Golden Threshold to become a big buzz activity here to have on behalf of the University of Hyderabad. I take this opportunity to congratulate Professor Appara of Podiliji, and I take this opportunity to make pranams to Indira Dhanraj Giriji. Because of you, we are all here. Because of your donation, we are all here. Because of your donation, Hyderabad Central University has taken a step to, though it is a bit delayed, step to get it inaugurated today. And today, this hall is Rajkumari Indira, Indiraji Hall. And after 30 years or 50 years also, Rajkumari's name will be there. And Indira will, may not be there, but Rajkumari's name will be there. <laughs> so, in the democratic setup, only one Rajkumari in Telangana and in Andhra Pradesh and the southern parts of India, it is Rajkumari Indira Dandaj Kirji. Pranams to Indraji and pranams to all of you. Thanks a lot. And congratulations to Professor Apparaugar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, kind words and also the assurance that you have given to all of us to extend your support to University of Hyderabad and for these activities. And uh, yes, we are looking forward to have even sessions on book readings also in addition to other programs that we have been mentioning. And uh, um, Ramana Charigaru has rightly mentioned that the, there are some cultural groups. My good friend who has been our employee also, Mr. K. Murtigaru, GLN Murtigaru, he is sitting in the audience. In fact, he is uh, one who has been telling there are many people who are looking for these kind of avenues who will be very happy to use it both formally and informally, the 
areas that we have outside this hall also these places can become very good center and a place where many activities can happen and uh, somehow things got delayed but now we are happy that we have made it and uh, halls this hall can be up to 50s up to 60 70 comfortably it can do and we are as i said we are reviving the other hall which can take up to 200 that also will help us to uh, have activities depending on the size of the audience size of the participants and the kind of program and we are going to take help of actually uh, manvi ji actually uh, um, um, vinod told me uh, manvi ji also was our faculty uh, at saroj naidu school and he has readily come forward to give and send some uh, some of his colleagues to here to help us in designing this kind of the uh, uh, in the other hall as well so that it can be used for multi purpose this is these are the efforts that vinod has put in and therefore we are now very confident that this will become very good place for all of us for the people in this region for and we want to see the, this as an extended arm and where our social responsibility as a university as a university social responsibility activity we want to join, be part of the society by making it available for these activities which require a good support from institutions be it institutions like government government of telangana or an institution like university of hyderabad which is funded by the government of india so thank you very much sir for gracing this occasion and for inaugurating uh, this hall today and uh, you, as i said in the beginning you are the right person today to inaugurate this hall and to put a, uh, sow the seed for revival of this particular activity on this campus thank you very much sir and uh, we would like to i would like to request vinod uh, to say his words of thanks the vice chancellor has to plead like this <laughs> i think you should be able to he should be able to give it to you uh thank you uh, this is just to extend a formal uh, uh, thanks to Uh, everyone involved in this project uh, to the dignitaries who came today let me start uh, by uh, expressing our deep sense of gratitude to rajkumari indira devi dhanraj gir for her uh, generosity for her uh, i should say immense patience we have been waiting and waiting to do this and uh, no i mean uh, also personally uh, yes on behalf of the university i have been uh, working with her and uh, having a dialogue with her about this space constantly and uh, she has always been very affectionate and uh, extended her warmth uh, to me so thank you indira ji and we'll continue to stay in touch with you uh, also our uh, deep sense of thanks to dr ramana chari garu who at a very short notice uh, has agreed to come as a chief guest today uh in fact uh, we just talked to him on the phone and uh, he has agreed to come uh ramana chari garu as the advisor uh, to government of telangana and in his own personal capacity has been a patron of arts and deeply committed to the cultural and artistic heritage of uh, not only hyderabad but for telangana as a whole i'm sure we'll continue to work with him and the government of telangana to take our uh, ideas forward uh, a special thanks to jayvan naidu and uh, the accompanist uh, the tabla player who came today uh, again uh, these are all you know uh, friends uh, artists uh, who we have been interacting with for a long time in the city and at a very short notice uh, jayvan has agreed to come and uh, give us a little musical start to this evening thank you very much uh, jayvan uh, i should i mean it's a little awkward to thank uh, your own people but i should mention uh, the vice chancellor for his constant support it is true that the endowment was made even before the current vice chancellor took over uh, for various reasons uh, uh, there's been a delay but ever since i took up 
this uh, project with uh, the vice chancellor professor aparo has been extending constant support evinced a very keen interest on this project and repeatedly expressed his commitment to the restoration of golden threshold not just this hall but to the entire premises so that this place will buzz with literary and cultural activities very soon thank you sir i should also thank uh, dr jilani the director of uh, center for distance education and uh, virtual learning in fact the only university of hyderabad activity that still happens in this premises and in many ways uh, he's been the custodian of this place uh, very enthusiastic about reviving golden threshold uh, he says he sometimes jokingly says he feels very lonely here and he would like to see a lot more activity in this place sir we are going to start those activities and give you uh, something to cheer about uh, the engineering department of the university of hyderabad some of our engineers are here who rose to the occasion helped us with uh, getting this place together with acoustics and lighting and so on thank you very much various people in the city who represent cultural and literary groups who have always responded with much excitement and enthusiasm whenever i raised the issue of golden threshold and they were partly the reason why you know which motivated us to do this yeah so thanks to all of you and uh, you know we are now opening these premises to all of you i should also thank uh, various deans of the sarojini naidu school the school that uh, professor aparo mentioned uh, the current dean professor tirumal is here but several deans uh, have played a role in uh, making this happen uh, in fact uh, professor mohan ramanan the dean of the school of humanities was in a way responsible for starting this dialogue and then sort of handing over that mantle to us you know so i thank him he is not here today uh, i should also thank uh, my colleague uh, dr janardhan uh, whom the vice chancellor mentioned uh, i i don't know how to thank him uh, adequately i mean he really work day and night to make this hall a reality uh, even like in the last two days uh, i don't know if he slept enough but uh, i mean he is a trained uh, video person he understands acoustics sound so he took minute care of everything that's happening in this room uh, so janardhan thank you very much for all your efforts finally our public relations officer ashish uh, is he here yeah ashish uh, for all your uh, support as usual with the media uh, i'm happy to note that i mean the vice chancellor was saying this morning there seems to be quite a bit of interest in the media to see the revival of golden threshold they have responded very positively uh, so i hope uh, they'll continue to visit this place visit the various activities that would happen here so thank you very much before we close for the evening one small thing we would like to do but a significant thing as a gesture of uh, thanks from the institution i would like our vice chancellor professor aparao to felicitate indira ji with a shawl i mean this is a small token of our thanks uh, request the vice chancellor to also felicitate dr ramanachari with a shawl as well thanks to everyone for being here for this uh, opening event uh, for this hall and i uh, hope you'll keep coming back uh, there is a facebook page for golden threshold please uh, keep visiting the page to see the events and uh, we'll start creating a mailing list for events that will happen in golden threshold 
that we would be organizing uh, for other events that the groups would be organizing they could continue to use uh, the golden threshold facebook page yeah so thank you everyone good night and uh, see you all soon again Thank you.